Hey guys, it's Shy, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be playing with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh collection. This is not a first impression. I've actually been testing it out for the last few days, so I can really give you guys some thoughts on it because I know a lot of you requested this. I literally did a poll on my Instagram and 100% of you wanted to see me play around with this. This video would have been up sooner, but, um, and I did actually pay for expedited shipping on it, but it, they were so backed up with orders, they actually refunded my expedited shipping, and it just took a little bit of time. That being said, I did literally get everything from the collection, including the sponge, which you can tell I've been using. I really like the sponge. I even picked up like some no filter concealer. Um, I picked up the Boss Brows Duo, just like a couple of different things. Um, I already know I really like ColourPop brow products and I just needed some more, so that's what that was. But, so as I apply, we will talk about this. I'm gonna show you guys how I use it. Um, first things first, this is the Pretty Fresh Primer. I really like the primer. I've been really into just, as you can tell right now, like even my skin is just very hydrated, it's very glowy. Um, so this just adds some more hydration, honestly. It's not gonna be like a pore blurring primer or anything like that. It really is just gonna be more for hydration. I think that the product works a lot better with the primer. It is definitely made for the product for a reason. I have tried it without the primer and it just doesn't do the same thing. When I apply the primer first, I think it just hydrates maybe the areas on my face that tend to have a little bit more texture and I don't have as much of an issue with it. I actually don't have any issue with it. So um, another thing I do do though, and I'm gonna be honest, just because I have very, very, very oily skin. So without this, it will last on my face, but I tend to get a little bit more shiny than I'd like, and it can wear off in certain places. Um, and that's, I'm talking like long wear, like eight hours. So I do like to add in some of my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Putting this just over top of it, and I really actually like this primer combo, because one, I'm getting lots of hydration on my face but this milk gives it just a little bit more grip that it needs and i mean this is a tinted moisturizer so the more you can you know do to get your extra coverage i recommend it so the shade that i got is medium 10n i did also get a light shade but i am pretty decently self-tanned right now um, as you can tell my face is obviously a hell of a lot lighter than my body but i like to match it to my body so i don't look like a crazy person um i really 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 like this guys um and honestly i was a little nervous if i was gonna like this or not so this is the um bottle all together it is a squeezy tube and a pump so I do like to apply it with a brush. I think it makes more sense. You get a little bit more coverage from it. Um, let me find my brush. I'm just gonna use this one. This one is a flat top brush from Tartan and Twine, I believe. I got it at TJ Maxx, but I really, really like this one. So um, I just go in with one pump and we're gonna start building it up. So I like to first start by just stippling it onto the face. And I'll show you guys, and then just dragging it a little bit down the neck. So right off the bat, if you even just wanna take this on your fingers, rub it all over your face and leave, see how much more, one, this matches. I think this really will work well for people who are self-tanned too and need that. And then it does cover a little bit right off the bat too. Now I think, um, I've seen different reviews on this and a lot of people keep comparing it to like the coverage of a foundation. This is a tinted moisturizer. The fact that there's any coverage in this is pretty amazing. Um, and I find it to be extremely buildable. It sets beautifully um, and I really, really like it on my skin. It didn't irritate my skin. I actually even used it, um, I've been sick recently. And I use this product because I really wanted to make sure I had as much hydration as possible in my face. Um, Cause you know, when you're sick, you're blowing your nose, you're sleep deprived as all hell because you're coughing and waking up constantly. And I really wanted um, to make sure I had a lot of hydration in my face. 
and it even lasted, I'm not even being dramatic with me blowing my nose, I'm gonna insert a clip of that day and what that looked like. So it looked pretty darn good in my opinion. Um, and that day I was super duper sick too. So I'm gonna take just a tiny, tiny little dot and I like to go over my neck, just because again, I don't self tan these areas. Um, self tanner, no matter how like gentle it is, it tends to break out my face and my neck. So I like to avoid that. Now, the next thing I like to do is I like to take the sponge and go in with a second layer with the sponge. And I feel like that really just helps smooth out any lines you could have gotten from your brush, gives a little bit of added um, coverage to it as well. So I'm gonna go in with one pump. Really just patting this in. I really like this sponge. You don't need this sponge by any means. I just got it because it came with the whole little kit. Um, I still love my Shop Miss A sponge. I will ride or die for that. So um, do you need this sponge? Absolutely not. If you want to get the kit, it is an added bonus in my opinion. And then I just do like a little baby pump for right in through here. So this is just two layers of it. I love the way it feels on my skin. I love the way it looks on my skin. Um, to be honest, like I don't know if it's just the way that I pair these two primers together, but a lot of people were saying that it felt heavy on their skin. I can't even feel it on my skin. So the two of them together, and like honestly, if I was just running around town, I would just leave like this. I love how glowy it is. It's a very your skin but better. But at the same time, it blurred a lot of my blemishes. It doesn't pick up on my skin texture either. Um, and I'm just moisturized today with my um, Volition Celery Green Cream. But um, that being said, we are gonna continue. So I'm gonna be honest, I picked up the ColourPop No Filter Concealer again because um, I couldn't remember why I had stopped using it. It just doesn't work for me right now. Um, I really do prefer my Maybelline Age Rewind. So we are gonna go in with that and I am going to definitely add some brightness to the center of my face. I'm getting ready to go to the movies. Um, me and Jose are gonna go see the Joker and I'm really excited. Oh, my hair is falling. I literally just put my hair up in this like quick little bun and I'm probably just gonna leave it like that. It feels so warm today. I don't know if it's just because I've been inside cleaning and everything, but like that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm just gonna, I just always like to rebuff out before I powder. So I recently picked up the milk powder and I ripped the thing off of it because I don't, I don't know how anyone deals with this. This made me feel homicidal because I couldn't like tap any powder out of it. I think maybe if you do your powder with a brush, that would make sense for me. I was like, absolutely not. So I'm gonna just dip a little bit of my milk powder and I'm just gonna tap all under here. And I'm only setting underneath my eyes just because my eyes tend to be very creasy. I am very expressive when I talk and especially going to the movies. Um, and we're seeing the Joker, which is like kind of like a thriller from what I've heard. And there's a lot of violence in it. So I'm sure I'm going to be making some faces in the movies. So we're just we're just going to set. Perfect. And then I am going to gently set the rest of my face with my Wet n Wild powder. Now, if you're not planning on wearing this for like seven or more hours, I don't think you really need to set it, to be honest. Um, I've tried it not set and it was fine. Um, but since I am going again to the movies and we'll probably get dinner or something, I wanna make sure that the rest of my face is set too. So I'm just gonna take um, this brush that I got in a BoxyCharm and my Wet n Wild powder and I'm just going to gently just kind of tap over the perimeter of my face. And this is just going to let us um, blend bronzer and stuff on top of it a little bit easier too. If you are a cream, bronzer, and blush person, then you probably don't even need to worry about this stuff. Just let my face sit for a little bit longer and I'm gonna jump into brows. So I did get the taupe brow kit. So that comes with the brow 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 
Boss Pencil. I swear I can talk today. And then it comes with, and this is in the shade Taupe, and then it comes with a light brown brow gel. I've never tried their brow gel, so I'm curious to see how it does. So I figured I would do this little bit on camera with you guys. So I always like, if you're new to my channel, I like to brush up my hairs and then fill the rest in with either a pencil or a pomade. I do like a fluffier brow. So let's see. I mean, it's definitely brushing them up really nicely. There's not a lot of pigment to it I'm noticing, but um, that's completely fine. I'm also pressing really gently. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. If you were watching this with headphones and I probably broke your damn eardrums right now, that got such a fluffy brow. Wow. Oh my God. I really like this. Oh my God. So I love a fluffy, look at that compared to that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, and then I'm gonna try to fill in the tail with the brow pencil. So let's see how this goes. Um, this is a little bit more fair, so I might need to switch to a pomade. Yeah, I'm not gonna, it's a little bit too light. It'd be good like through the front of it, but I am gonna flip to my pomade really quick. I use the Makeup Obsession um, pomade and I really, really, really like it. And I'm just gonna use my little Kylie Cosmetics brush. I really like the Kylie pomade too, but this one, just the undertone of it and with the ashiness of my blonde, it just is working a little bit better for me right now. It's a really nice brow. I really like the way that that turned out. This is it up a little bit more close. Of course, I need to go in and clean up with concealer and everything, but I really like like the fluffiness right here and that I was still able to get it to the point. So I just finished off the rest of my face really quick. Um, and this is just kind of the little look I came up with today. I like, does the skin not look so good? I mean, again, this isn't supposed to be full coverage, but for a tinted moisturizer, like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm obsessed with it. And then let's go in now with the Pretty Fresh Mist to finish it all off. So this one, I don't know if you guys can even see how gentle that is on camera, but it is fabulous. I'm gonna hold my little bang hairs out of my face and mm. I like spray it all over my like chest, everywhere like this, oh my God. One, it smells divine. Two, it just feels so good. Like ColourPop freaking knocked it out of the park with this entire collection. Um, this is the Skin Up Close. I truly 150% love this product so much. Um, again, I've been testing this out for you guys. This is not a first impression. I just wanted to include, you know, a little mini makeup tutorial with it. Just show you the whole damn thing to get put together. But this is how I've been wearing it. I really love it. Um, but I am gonna bring you guys on throughout the rest of the night. Just so you can kind of see how it wears, um, you know, throughout the video as well. And see how good it looks. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it anyways guys I will see you at the first check-in okay guys well I'm not going to the movies after all because I talked to my mom and apparently the Joker is really really sad and I am a crybaby and literally can't handle anything so I'm not going and Jose is stuck at work anyway so it worked out but this has been on my face for maybe six hours so far I think it looks really really good um, this lighting's a little off but um, it just looks really, really good in my opinion. Like, um, I feel like it looks really good. I mean, of course I have like breakouts and you know, acne scarring and all that fun stuff. But overall, I think it still looks really, really nice. I'm gonna go home and make some uh, cauliflower buffalo wings and maybe like a little side salad and I'll let you guys know what it looks like after the eight hour mark. Alright guys, so it is at the end of the day now. I still think it looks really, really nice. This is natural lighting. Um, I don't know, you guys be the judge. I am obsessed with it. I'm going to be wearing it quite a bit. So um, definitely oily skin approved, definitely shy approved. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys picked it up and loved it or hated it, let me know and let me know why too. You know I love hearing from you guys. Anyways, I will see you next time. Bye.